Hey, QE. <clears throat> yep. I had a question regarding a discussion that you had with uh, Nathan Oakley in one of the Ballbusters show a long time ago, but it is regarding the quantum uh, mechanics and the particularly the uh, double slit experiment. So you gave an example of there being a lab professor who sets up this experiment <laughs> in his lab. I and remember it. that that record is that the data is being recorded in another room, his mm -hmm. office, and mm -hmm. then he goes on a flight and comes back and then finds out that the room where data was being recorded has caught fire and is totally burnt up. So mm -hmm. now this is where I had a dilemma. What exactly are you saying when he opens the room and observes the light screen? Is he going to find an interference pattern or just two, uh, uh, two straight lines indicating particle behavior? When he, comes, when he comes back off of vacation, right? Yeah. So he, com he comes back. He, he did this experiment 499 times, and he did it. It was, it was every single time that the information was gathered about the path information. Every single time, it was two bars. But this time, with the 500 experiment, he went ahead and set it up. He turned the experiment on. He closed the door, locked the door. No one could come in. And the path information was routed over to his administrative building. Then he went on vacation. It was on a timer or the experiment just ran out. Doesn't matter. Everything was done. So he was on his way back from vacation. And his secretary called and said that the administrative building was on fire. When he got back, the whole administrative building, including his office, all the information about where that path information was going was destroyed. He never looked at it. No one ever seen it. It was destroyed. So he said, well, heck with it. Well, glass is half full. I'll head back to the lab. And he already knows what's going to happen, right? Because 409 times he ran the experiment, and it was, it was two bars or two lines where they all hit. But as he went back, he opened up the door, looked at it, and it was an interference pattern that just it sends it off the reservation. The reason why is that the path information, which existed but doesn't now currently exist, no one knew it. No one will ever know it. That's why you got an interference pattern. But then oh. isn't the, uh, I have a very pertinent question. Isn't the interference pattern or particle behavior to straight lines determined the moment data is registered? I'm not, I'm not, because I think we're, I think we're on another topic that whether it's particles or anything else was never the question in double slit, never been the question ever since the beginning. It's just flat earthers that have gotten into this. And the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, the biggest problem in flat earth is indirect from a baltard. And he is the tattooed job of the hut, Uncle Fester, Ken fucking Wheeler. He's the biggest thorn in the side of flat earth because of pretender clowns. He's an idiot. There has never been a question whether these were particles or not. That's never been the mission of any quantum me mechanics experiment I've ever seen. <laughs> no, that was not my question exactly. What's your question? So my question is, uh, when the data is being registered, whether we are going to see two straight lines or an interference pattern, According to you, according to what you're saying, that he finds out that it was an interference pattern, then it is being decided the moment he opens the door and finds out about it. But then I am saying, isn't what actually happened at that point when the experiment was on? He came back after maybe seven days or 14 days. Mm -hmm. But the moment when the experiment was going on, the particles. Well, I mean, was it decided whether yeah. they yeah. would Here's, take a straight line path or an interference pattern? Because I, see your, building, I see your question. I see your question. The administrative okay. building uh, burnt Hold up. up. 
Stop. I see. I already said I see your question now. It's very clear. Okay. Yep. Now, as long as the path information is existing somewhere and can be retrievable, if he would come back, he doesn't have to go to his office to look at the information, the path information. It's existing in his computer. It's retrievable. As long as it's retrievable, you're getting a two-column pattern. That's it. And as soon as he opens up the door, that's it. Can't change. Follow? Yeah, I follow, but I'm not sure if I agree. It does it's not a case so of agree or disagree. <laughs> so so it's gonna so it showed four hundred and ninety nine times two slits because the information was known about the path, right? It didn't have to be known. All it had to do was exist Exists. and was retrievable. And retrievable. So when the building burned down, then walk me through that last part again. The building burned down. No one looked at the path information that was on his computer. He didn't look at it remotely. No one looked at it. It was in his computer. It was stored in there. Right? Now, now, if that building didn't burn down and that path information was in his computer in the other office and he walked in that room, he'd get two columns. Oh, uh, I gotcha. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, it's such a weird thing to think about. because Yep, yeah. yeah, because nothing had happened yet. Nothing's happening yet. That's what the crazy part is. Because you'd figure when he was on his vacation and that experiment was running, you'd figure it's irreversible, right? That the the path information existed. That stuff was hidden. That's why it's called delayed choice, delayed choice quantum eraser, the delayed choice part. The delayed part. Because it will fill in a back history. That's what's the but that's what will send you off the reservation and start questioning shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is it even a little bit late? Hey, um, what's the topic right now? Double uh, slip experiment, <laughs> delayed choices, and erasure. All right. All right. Hey, Kiwi, is it, is it nope, too short? Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. As long as you get it, Sonny. Wait a minute. Someone just... Uh... Shouted out. Someone was just saying the N word. I just want to make sure that's taken. Care I have of. a question. When you figure that out after, I think flat flat Arthur still is having some yep. trouble. I had a question, a following question, okay. follow up question. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Good sorry. I'm to... Yeah, but I'll, I'll uh, just remember it and reframe it. Go ahead. I'll, I'll ask it later. Yeah, good luck with the questions, man. That, that These are heavy. This is heavy stuff, man. We're in the deep end. Yeah, yeah. Can we go to the shallow end a bit? I'm a bit new to this. What's the topic, big dog? Yeah. I'm ready for the shit. Oh, I see they all made it down here. Got ton, <laughs> tons of new people. Uh, What's the about... topic right now? We just joined back. Uh, Double bro, slip. The um, we're talking about quantum. Oh, you're talking about the former topic or the topic we're discussing? I don't know, bro. Context. Whatever, whatever you guys are talking you, about. Current context. Yeah. We're you, talking. I, I, I had my question. So uh, is this what we just talked about? This is actually a thought experiment, right? Can it be validated by a real experiment? No, it's not a thought experiment. It's not a thought experiment at all. It already been validated. I just gave you a double slit example of the delayed choice quantum eraser. Uh, I'm aware of that experiment. Yep. All right. Like yeah, it was what I did was I tried to break the delayed choice quantum eraser down into a simple double slit example. Some big because, words. Yeah, because a double slit, the delayed choice quantum eraser is like exponential magnitudes greater than just the plain double slit because it has no slit detectors at the double slit. Follow? I, I get it. Yep. Yeah. So, I was watching this another video, a mainstream uh, channel of science, where they were also discussing quantum mechanics and how things which are not in the quantum level are do not behave as quantum mechanics. So in place of the double slit experiment where we have photon or other atoms and molecules, they 
thought of this experiment as there being two slits and we are throwing tennis balls Nini. on a screen right 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 the same experiment at a level where which, where the observations are again if we do not have anyone in the room and we put two cameras to find out who, out of which of the two slits the ball is going to pass so again the, why does it not work that way in case of this experiment yeah the tennis balls and stuff once you get larger and larger we don't have equipment sensitive enough to detail the results it's because of our own limitations let me see if i can get something on that one second okay i think i understand what you mean but yeah go ahead send me so, any rel relevant yeah stuff. let me see if i could find that it's going to it's probably going to take a while man that stuff's buried so, um that's okay thanks can we go ahead and talk to the new people while you're looking for this I got a question, bro. So if the earth is really flat, how come <laughs> when I roll a ball like down the street or some shit, it stops instead of just going at like a constant speed? What? Like it went on Surface ball. friction. Hey. Hey. If you roll the ball on a ball, why, why, wouldn't the ball roll, why wouldn't a ball roll continuously if you were on a ball? Wouldn't it roll off the ball? What? Yeah, it'd roll off the ball. Yeah, roll Did you say if ball. I was rolling on a ball, on a ball, would it roll across the ball? No, dude. dude do <laughs> okay. You any, do you have any proof of curvature of the Earth's surface? A measurement? Well, I just want to give, I want to give these guys another disclaimer. It's like, I know I went over a lot of stuff with you in the VC check-in, but there were a ton of units. So if you want to really utilize this server for its full potential, if you want to have some good, decent conversations, you're going to have to have, like, be serious, right? D don't, don't be idiots. Don't be making, don't, don't ask dumb questions. I'm sure when it comes to the earth, you can ask a better question than that. Like maybe something to do with measurement or observations, you know, something like that. So maybe let's try again. Yeah. Welcome to the server. So, so do you mind? So how did you hear about the flat earth? And what do you go ahead, son? No, go ahead, Dave Finkel. I was just asking them what, how they hear about flat earth and what he. What do you think it is? Do you think it's a joke? Do you think we're all stupid or just tell us your honest opinion? Hello? I just uh, don't totally understand it. So I'm like in the middle kind of thing, right? So I'm trying to understand it. That's where I'm at. What if, what if we ask you three simple questions real quick? We're just going to gather some information about what you know about the globe. Okay. It's not too much, but yeah, go ahead. All right. And it's just this sitting the debate. I'm not going to refute any of your points or anything. I just want to know what you know, right? Mm -hmm. So, as far as the Earth's curvature, you know, we live on a ball, so it has curvature. You agree? Yeah. Okay. You know, of any, all the way back in history, all the way up to the day, you know, of an actual measurement of Earth's curvature. That you could tell us about that you know firsthand, or mm. that you know the Earth has curvature. You don't. No. Well, that's the honest answer. We'll take that. I mean, would you say you simply believe somebody's figured it out, and you just believe them? No, I'm trying to get like a wide variety of opinions. You know what I mean? I'm asking, I'm asking what you know about it. So the reason you think you're on a ball right now is because you think some smart science has figured it out or something like that, right? Yeah, that's why I'm trying to understand the other side of it. Yeah. Well, we're here to give it to you. We're just trying to establish a common ground so we can have an intellectually honest conversation. Okay. I get down to these questions and you can ask any question you want, okay? Mm 